Question number 15. We have an electric motor here that is lifting a mass via these pulleys. The motor voltage is 230 volts. Uh, the diameter of the reel in the motor here is 5 centimetres and the mass of the mass. And the mass is 100 kilograms and it's being lifted with a speed of 0 0.5 metres per second as measured here where the mass is actually moving upwards. So the first part of the question, what is the electric current driving the motor? So part A. We know the voltage. We don't know the current. We don't know the resistance. We don't know the power. But what we can do is work out the power. We know that the work done by a force is equal to the force multiplied by the distance moved in the direction of that force. And we know that power is work divided by time. Therefore, power is equal to force multiplied by distance divided by time. And distance divided by time here is speed, which is IU. So power is equal to the force multiplied by U. And the force in this occasion is overcoming gravity. So F equals MG. So power equals MGU, where M is 100. G we always assume to be 10 in path exams, and the speed is 0 0.5. So that gives us a power of 500 watts. We know that power equals voltage multiplied by current. So current is equal to power divided by voltage. So 500 divided by 230. And this gives us an answer of approximately 2.2 amps. 500 over 250 would be uh, 2 amps. 500 over 200 would be 2.5 amps. So it's somewhere between the two. It's about 2.2 amps. Moving on to part B. What is the angular velocity of the motor's winding reel? We know that the relationship between velocity and angular velocity is V equals omega R, where R is the radius here. And we know that D is 5 centimetres. However, we don't know what V is. We know the speed that the we know the speed that the block is lifting up here is U, but we don't know what V is here because it's going through these pulleys. Let's take a look at the pulley system. We can see that for every pull that takes place up here, you have to pull through this length, this length, and this length. So the pulling velocity at the motor will be three times greater than the velocity that the block is lifting up with. So we can use omega equals V divided by R. We know that V is 3 multiplied by 0 0.5. And we know that R, if the diameter is 5 centimetres, then R must be 2.5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 2 metres. So we can write that as half multiplied by 3 over 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2, which is the same as saying 3 divided by 5 times 10 to the minus 2, which is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 fifth times 10 to the power of positive 2. We know that 1 fifth is 0 0.2. We can keep working through our solution here. We'll eventually get 3 times 20, 
which means that our angular velocity is 60 radians per second. And finally, let's take a look at part C. What's the force that the motor is pulling with? Well, we can come back to our equation. Power equals force multiplied by velocity. And we now know this final velocity up here that the motor is pulling with. So we can rearrange that to get F equals P divided by V, which gives us 500 watts divided by 1.5, which is the same as saying 1000 divided by 3, just multiply top and bottom by 2 which gives us an answer of 333 newtons for our force.